How's it going everybody? Trainer Rick here. Switch it up this week. Back onto the rec train build. So I'm holding off on the crane. Uh, might do something a little crazy with that. So I moved over to the crane tender car. This is not 100% done yet. There's still some parts I need to order and come in till I can really finish this up. So we're gonna do a, a shorter video, video than usual. Once again, I skipped over painting. You can go back and see that in the first video I did on the flat car, but I'll go over. I did do some things different this on this car than I did on the flat car. So I'll go over the painting first of what I did different. So right off the bat, to add a little bit of extra detail, I painted some of the boards as if they were replaced. Just a couple on both sides, nothing crazy. I don't want to make it too, you know, too overpowering. And then, I don't know how the lighting is on this. We'll move over to the caboose part. You can see it better. I washed the side of the caboose or not the, the side, all, all, the whole caboose was washed. And that was a combination of back to, I used these on the wood decks of the flat car on the first one. These are g &W paints. Unfortunately, their prices keep going up, but I just, I love the effect. They dry pretty quickly. They go on real easy. And I went in washed it all black once, let it dry, and then came in with the brown. And I try to match it up with the top of the, the cupola so that, you know, this would constantly be getting worn and stuff would be dripping on it. So that's the effect I went with there. And same thing with the smokestack for the heater in the caboose. Did my normal dry brushing techniques for the rust and decided to go a little crazy and overboard with it and bring it right down the side. Added in a little wall here to help hide where the wires gone, uh, where the wires go through, where the hinges are, those are gonna rust up. It's metal, 24 hours, it's gonna rust easily. So same thing I did with the smokestack. I just dry brushed it real lightly and did two different colors. Give it some, give it a highlight. So that's pretty much it for painting. That's out of the ordinary. So we'll switch over to the extra details I've added in. So for the extra details that are already applied, not the stuff I'm waiting on, just added this palette lands perfectly or changed out that hook or had a spare hook or anything else. I might end up making a smaller hook to go on there so that it's just lined up perfectly so it's a quick change if they ever needed to. Dunnage, yeah. the empty pallet we already discussed and then here is from my experience with derails I know we have a pallet of all oak cut in one inch, two inch, and three inch blocks. So that's kind of the look I went for here. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't cut wedges yet. I might put the wedges in this open space here. So added two, cha two spare chains, one on this side, one on this side. Got an acetylene tank, still have to make a strap for it. Two, I would be tanker bars, at least that's what the military life has taught me. And I know it's not common at all, because this would in a sense be MOW, but I did put a uh, blue flag on here. I still want to add in two red ones that track department would carry that say derail. So, you know, you're out somewhere, you got to get protection, threw it up, it's a nice little detail. So that's what I'm at right now. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I still wanna get some shovels to go in here, some pickaxes, just some smaller detail. I wanna get some more chains. 
Um, strap that in, the extra flags, and that's pretty much it. I was contemplating adding a smoke unit to this. I still could. The trucks already have powered pickups because of the light, but in talking to some people on the OGR forum, it it's not it might not be worth something that's how many times am I going to take out the wreck train? So plus I got some crazy ideas for the actual crane and all these extra details that I'm doing would have done with this would only be for photo op opportunities, which would be cool, but I got so much other stuff to do, things I want to weather, things I want to modify. I can always go back and do that at another time. The crane car does not look as good. Sorry about the shadow. This layout is temporary at the moment. It'll not be saved with the new layout plan. And my lighting down here is minimal. I'm working off of a shop light at the moment. So there we have it. I got one car on order. Hopefully that'll be in soon. And I just got to find a baggage car next. And I have an idea for another flat car, but we will see.